The Lab IVF IUI swim up kit provided to you contains all the necessary components, each clearly labeled. Please take a moment to inspect the contents and confirm that all items are in good condition and properly sealed. Store the multi purpose handling medium complete MHMC at 2 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius until ready for use. Using a syringe and needle, allocate 4 milliliters of MHMC into the provided test tube and keep the medium at 37 degrees Celsius prior to use. Any remaining medium in the original glass bottle should be stored at 2 degrees Celsius for future use. Estimate the volume of liquefied semen. The liquefied semen can be directly used in the sperm separation device CA0. Each CA0 is designed for a maximum of one milliliter of liquefied semen. Ensure the semen specimen is kept at approximately 37 degrees Celsius. Remove the CA0 from its packaging and allow it to stabilize. You may label the patient's identification information on the plastic cover. Using a new syringe, aspirate 1.0 ml of liquefied semen or diluted specimen. Load the 1.0 ml of semen into the base of the sperm separation device, CA0. If the volume of liquefied semen is less than 1.0 ml, aspirate additional MHMC medium to bring the total volume to 1.0 ml in the syringe. Carefully place the filter onto the base, ensuring it fits securely into the anchor point. Using the same syringe previously used for the media, aspirate 0.9 ml of pre-warmed MHMC. Insert the syringe into the loading port of the CA0 and slowly load the media. Once the loading port is filled, move the syringe towards the membrane to complete the filling with the remaining media. Keep the syringe for future use to flush the catheter. Cover the CA0 and incubate the device at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. The AIC-18 supplied in the kit includes both an inner and outer catheter. Both must always be used together, as they are not designed to be used separately. If necessary, curve the distal one-third of the outer catheter, with the inner catheter still attached, by gently massaging it away from the hub to align it with the patient's cervical canal. The catheter is highly flexible and has memory, allowing it to retain the curved shape for easier introduction into the cervical os. Flush the catheter with the remaining warmed MHMC. Using the previously used syringe and the extra warmed media, carefully aspirate approximately 0.5 to 1.0 ml of media. Attach the syringe to the hub of the catheter and flush the media through the entire catheter. Repeat this step if necessary. Take a new syringe and fill it with 0.2 ml of air. This step is crucial, as the dead space of the catheter is approximately 0.2 ml. Using the same 1cc syringe pre-filled with 0.2 milliliters of air, carefully aspirate 0.5 milliliters of the processed sperms specimen from the loading port on the CA0. The total volume of processed specimen in the syringe must not exceed 0.8 milliliters. Attach the syringe tip securely to the hub of the AIC-18 catheter. Gradually press the plunger of the syringe in a stepwise fashion to expel air from the catheter until a small droplet appears at the tip of the catheter. Allow any air bubbles in the syringe to settle before proceeding with insemination. The catheter is now ready for insemination. When the patient is ready, the clinician may introduce the insemination catheter and advance it through the external and internal oz into the mid-uterine cavity. It may be necessary to twist the catheter as it navigates the cervical canal. Once the desired position is reached, slowly inject the processed sperm and expel all the remaining air in the syringe to ensure full expulsion of the specimen. If there is any doubt about complete expulsion, remove the syringe from the catheter, reload with air, reattach the syringe, and slowly inject the air to expel any remaining specimen. Allow time for the uterine environment to equilibrate, then slowly remove the catheter.